Stefan in Fukuoka, Japan. Fukuoka? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure 50 of you will write back in and tell me how to pronounce F-U-K-U-O-K-A, -O -O Japan. I don't know, but I do appreciate all the help. <laughs> what was it the other day? Um, God, somewhere in England that I mispronounced. Man, I must have gotten 30 or 40 people like, you knucklehead. I own up to it. I am a knucklehead. Okay. And Stefan writes, I'm a French guy who lives in Japan, which is a good place to be an audiophile. Yes, sir. Um, thanks to your videos and also to your book, The Audiophile's Guide, I made some great progress in my audiophile journey. Excellent. Um, I have two DACs, both of which can play only DSD-128, which, if you'll recall, is what we call 2X DSD. 64FS is single rate DSD, 64 times at the speed of a CD. Uh, when I want to buy a record in pure DSD, often the recording has been made originally in DSD-256. Now that's 4X DSD. When I want to buy a record in pure DSD, often the recording has been made uh, in, I just said that, in, in DSD, sorry. Um, should I buy the version that has been downsampled to 128 as opposed to the original 256, or should I downsample it myself? Okay, so what he's referring to is he has a DAC that can only play 2X DSD, and the recording is made in 4X DSD. And once we start making 4X recordings or 2X or whatever we're going to be doing, we'll be offering it in multiple sample rates, right? The original sample rate, and then it's downsampled into something lower. So his question basically is, should he do the downsampling through various means like, oh, you could do it in Rune. Um, there's a number of ways you could do it. Korg makes one. You could buy it from the manufacturer at the downsampled rate, what's best? And I would suggest to you that probably I would trust the label that I know at Octave, we've made a few recordings now with a new Pyramix system in 256 uh, and um, 4X DSD is definitely a very good sounding medium. And when we downsample it, we use the best downsamplers on the market and they're about as good as you can get. Now, downsampling from one thing to another is always going to cause some sorts of losses. You want to make sure those losses are as little as possible. So what you will find with Octave Records, for example, and I can't speak for other labels, is a combination of various means of either upsampling or downsampling. And I want to be careful with the use of the term upsampling because that's kind of not what we're doing. If you remember at Octave, right now, as we sit here before the studios are finished, we mix everything in analog. And many, many studios that use DSD, I would say the vast majority of them, take whatever 4X, 2X, 1X DSD they have, and they mix it in analog, and then they convert it to the higher sample rates, okay? So not everybody does that. And as I said before, some, like the guys who did our Zool Bailey, they went to analog and then they immediately went to 4X DSD, and then the versions below that were downsampled. I think perhaps a better way of doing that, and this is where you need to find out and go to the various labels and, and, and trust them for this, or at least find out what they're doing. We will probably not be doing that because we are either analog or PCM that we are going to through this Zephyr filter that we've talked about before. Um, each time that we do a mix, we will mix it to 
the sample rate that we want to go to from this, okay? So, for example, if I'm going to take this mix, I'm going to re-record it, if you will, in DSD at single rate or double rate or quad rate. So it's directly the analog or the high resolution PCM converted to what we want. So in the case of Octave Records, if you were to buy our 125 or 2x DSD from us, you know that that is a direct conversion from the mix to that specific thing and there's no down converting or up converting happening. It's that's being converted once and that would be the one that you'd want to buy. Because it, as you take something and you start down or up sampling it, you're never going to get quite where you, where you could have been had you done it the other way. So sorry for being a little convoluted about that. I kind of had to talk that through. <laughs> and you know me. All right. Thanks for the question and good luck out there. Take it easy.